How we all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Live From The M with Jay. So what I'm gonna talk about in this video may trigger you, it may not, I don't know, but I'm gonna just keep it respectful, I'm gonna keep it honest as I usually do. Take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? I'm just sharing my thoughts, my opinions, okay? And we're gonna be talking about kind of what I've been experiencing in my reality in the sense of what I've been hearing people talk about and that is this whole idea of affirming in something 10,000 times, okay? So that's what we're gonna be talking about. So before I hop in, feel free to click that bell icon, share this video, share this channel, all that stuff. Um, for one-on-one -on -one coaching, everything will be posted in the first comment below. I'll do whatever I can to help you help yourself with manifesting your goals and desires, all right? So let's hop back on track. So manifesting, impressing the subconscious mind, repetition, affirming 10,000 times, okay? The same thought or something of its likeliness, right? So here's the thing, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you straight up, and I talked about this in a post on my community tab briefly. You don't need, okay, keyword there, need or have to um, have, you know, um, to affirm something in 10,000 times, okay? Um, I've, been in this position before back in like 2020 where I was in a Facebook group and there were people in that group that were claiming that you have to affirm something in like thousand times for it to kind of soak into the subconscious mind to for you to believe it to impress the subconscious mind so I was on that wave and it seemed to me it seemed very forced um, you know I use that term loosely for lack of a better word but it seemed forced it got me more into a desperate, needy space than not, and I just didn't have fun with it, so I stopped. But the moment that I stopped and I started shifting and affirming, A, when I think about the subject matter, when I feel inspired or called to do so, or when I just genuinely feel good, I started noticing within myself more results. I was feeling less needy, I was feeling good. It was something that I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Sure, I may not have been affirming as much throughout the day, but in my opinion, in my belief, affirming from an inspired state, from a feel-good state, even just 10 times is a thousand times more stronger than affirming from a desperate, needy space, from a forced space, um, from an aggressive space, uh, a thousand times, you know what I'm saying? And that's literally how I operate in my reality, and as a result, I've been benefiting from it. So I don't believe that you have to, keyword there, or need to affirm 10,000 times. But if you want to, you can test it out. You know, just assume that it works for you. And I do suggest that you affirm when you're in an inspired place, when you feel good, etc. okay? But test it out nonetheless. I just wanna make this video talking about this idea because I've seen some comments Okay, across the board of people that are claiming that you have to affirm 10,000 times, right? That you need to, and then it will start working, right? And then you'll start to believe it. And that, in my opinion, can be a bit limiting because that may lead people to think that, oh my God, I have to affirm 10,000 times, otherwise it won't work. Not realizing that you create the rules for your reality. This is your reality and what you assume to be true is what's going to be true. I always suggest to people create the assumption that you manifest on the first attempt, that you impress the subconscious mind on the first attempt, and that you're open to impressing the subconscious mind on the first attempt. You know what I'm saying? That's technically speaking, that is a rule that you can set for your reality. And yes, you may t it may take some quote unquote time. You may have to really engage with some hardcore repetition in order to even get that belief installed. But once you have that belief, I mean, it's a game changer, fam, all right? It's a game changer. It's like having the belief of, I am open and ready to manifest instantly in the most fun-loving ways. That's actually a really, really powerful affirmation. Get it, boy. You know what I'm saying? So I would recommend that you test that out. So hopefully that the, hopefully this video makes sense. I'm not here to bash any concepts or go against anybody's teachings or anything like that or calling anybody out. That is not the intent, okay? I'm just sharing my views, like I said at the beginning of this video, like I always do. Um, and this video is for you people that may come across this and 
you know, because there are some people out there, like I said, that are claiming that you have to, okay? And this video is basically for you people and to let you know that you can affirm 10,000 times if you want, but just know that you don't have to, okay? But you can if you want, like I said. Test it out, assume that it's gonna work, affirm when you're inspired to the best of your ability, affirm when you feel called to do so, affirm when you're good, when you feel good, but don't feel that you have to or need to, okay? And that's the key, all right? So, yeah, like I said, I hope that this video resonates with you. If it does, click that bell icon, share. If it doesn't, it is what it is. Like I said at the beginning, take what resonates, leave the rest. Much love and peace. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Stay safe, stay love, stay on top of your game, stay on top of your thoughts. Get a boy, get a girl. You know what I'm saying? You got this, fam. This is your reality. Your manifestations are done. It is done. It is on its way. It is here for you now, better yet. You know what I'm saying? So, again, get a boy, get a girl. You got this, fam. All right? Much love and peace. Stay safe, stay humble, stay relaxed, you got it. <laughs>